Now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. All right, we've got this March powerhouse type storm that is headed our way and it's going to bring widespread rain in here come Wednesday night, even a couple of thunderstorms on Thursday morning. I've got marginal here because it's possible if it gets unstable enough Thursday morning, we could very well have an isolated severe storm or two embedded and then gusts 45 to 60 on Thursday with the peak winds between about 10 a.m and 4 p.m. and 6 tenths to 1 inch of rainfall is expected. But it's got humble beginnings. Certainly right now after the cold front went through, we are getting cooler. It'll be a cooler night with upper 20s to around 30, but the storm is down here. And two things we've noticed today is that it looks stronger and it's tracking just a little farther to the northwest, allowing a little bit more warm air to come into it for Thursday. That said, for this evening, we drop into the low to mid 30s by around midnight in Greater Lafayette with winds out of the northwest, dropping wind chills into the upper 20s. Then overnight, we're upper 20s to right around 30s, uh, 30 that is for lows. Winds turning to the northeast ahead of that storm approaching. Here it is tomorrow, clouds thickening up. Here's the widespread rain coming in tomorrow night. This is around midnight, and there are a few embedded thunderstorms with all that rain early on Thursday morning. So just a washout come Thursday morning at the bus stop or taking the kids to school. Then a little break where the sun may try to come out a little bit and we'll see this very narrow little low top broken line of showers and, and perhaps a couple thunderstorms along the cold front. Again, if this area gets unstable enough, there may be an isolated severe gust with these. This would be mid to late morning. This race is through and behind that is when the winds really roar in. That wind will be roaring at 2.30 on Thursday afternoon with a few light showers and eventually a few light rain and snow showers as temperatures fall during the evening. And then those high winds gradually diminishing. And keep in mind, with all that wind, can't even rule out a couple power outages. Then the little elusive snowmaker right here. It is unclear where the band of heavy wet snow is going to set up. This little thing pivots through like that, kind of a rain snow mix, maybe some snow here, depending on exactly where it tracks. This would be Friday evening and into Friday night. Then that moves on, produces snow down into North Carolina. We've got a decent weekend and then a few showers early next week, followed by widespread rain with time. And then eventually much colder air comes in and temperatures drop back well below normal. That said, 45 for the high tomorrow, becoming cloudy. After that 29 in the morning, we keep rising tomorrow night. These will be the numbers at 5 p.m., but by midnight, some of you in our southern counties will be up around 50. And how about that? Look at that warmth come Thursday uh, morning, that is. You can see highs running in the 50s to about 60, then falling into the 30s later on in the day with those gusts. 45 to 60 miles an hour, and there are your 5 p.m. temperatures on Thursday running in the 30s. Very active indeed. 55 then falling 36 on Friday, a little rain snow mixed to all snow potentially Saturday 33 some uh, shower action on Monday, widespread rain Tuesday, Wednesday, even into Thursday, then sharply colder by Friday of next week.